What's going on everybody? So today we're going to be taking a look at one of the best in the single handling, the most overpowered class loadout you can have right now in Outriders. It is the Technomancer bladed round build. Do you want to shred brood mothers like this? Tell me you're just very good at killing this at killing the little guys. There's one burst as well. Oh my god, this is stupid. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> See what I mean? What the fuck? I want to shred brood mothers like that and challenge tier 15, then let's go ahead and get into the loadout. All right, guys, so let's go start. First off, we're going to start with the class. We're going to be using the Pestilence class. We're going to be focused on the Assault Rifle Blighted Rounds build. This is OP as it gets. Credit to solid FPS. He crunched the numbers. He found out that this build is just straight OP. Once again, credit to Solid FPS. I'll put the link to his video in the description. He has all the numbers and the math laid out. You can take a look, but it's absolutely incredible. But let's get into it. We're going to go ahead and we're going to take this. The first node here, we're going to head upwards, right? We're going to take the weapon damage, all right? We're going to take the weapon leech. And for me, I like to take this. Because say I run out of my rounds, I like that cooldown to be a lot faster, you know, especially when you're trying to kill, you know, everything. All right. So I like to take that one personally. The next one we're going to take this one is drill coding. From there, we're actually going to move down. All right. We're going to take the crit damage. We're going to take the toxin and we're going to take the execution. Okay. We're going to take those going down here. All right. Then we're going to go back up. We're going to take this one. We're going to take this one. We're going to pretty much stay along the top side here. All right, this one, this one, this one, this one. Then you're going to take this, which is your buff for your assault rifle, your uh, your ARs. All right, then you once again, keep staying up. We're going to increase the assault weapon damage. See, this is an assault weapon damage build. If you wanted, you could pretty much do the same thing if you wanted the rifle side. You know, he has a great video about that as well. Uh, that is an OP loadout as well. If you have the Bright Bear, that thing is amazing. That's another sick loadout. If you wanted to try that route, you know, with the one shot, you know, rifles, those things are great. But we're going to focus today on the assault rifle side. So we're going to go ahead and take this top node. All right, then we're going to grab the armor piercing. Then we're going to go ahead and grab this. This is this is where it's at right here. This makes it kind of glass candy, you know. So what's going to happen is you're going to increase your damage received from all sources by 15%, but you're going to get damage dealt by 20%. So this is like glass candy, but this is this is very important for this build. Um, it really does not buff up your weapon damage, increase it, makes it a hell of a lot easier. All right, so we're going to move on here. We're going to grab the long range weapon damage by 30%. This is great tool. And we're going to go ahead and grab this. This increases your anomaly power because technically your blighted rounds are um, anomaly because it's a skill. All right, so we're going to go ahead and increase that. All right, then we're going to go down here. We're going to increase the mag size by 50%. All right, then we're going to grab this. This is going to go ahead with the purge. Then lastly, we're going to go ahead and take this. This is great, this last one, because it every time you activate the turret, right, it gives you a 40% buff but for you. Not only you, but for your allies as well. So say you have two Technomancers in the group, you each throw a turret at the same time, that's an 80% weapon damage boost for 10 seconds. Or you can even rotate them, but those are crucial. You know, you just keep throwing that thing out. You keep throwing it out, getting those weapon buffs, man. It really does make a difference. So that's the skill tree. That's exactly what you want to run. That's what I like to run. Um, you could mix up the cooldown one for something else. But for me, I like the cooldown one. It works best for me. So all right, let's go ahead and get into the skills. All right, guys, we're back again. We're going to be taking a look at the skills. The first ones we're going to be running is the most important one we have here is the Blighted Rounds. This is what is going to make the entire build come together. These rounds shred like there's no tomorrow. You saw that clip earlier of that Broodmother. That's, you know, challenge tier 15 just getting shredded easily. Two people running that. Just absolutely insane damage. 
All right, the next we're going to be running is the Bladed Turret. Like I said before, you get that damage buff, that 40% buff when you throw it for 10 seconds. Not just for you, but for your whole team. That's very important, especially if you have two Technomancers running. That's that's big buffs right there. All right, and last but not least, we're going to use Fixing Wave. This is going to be your heal. Uh, it heals you and your allies. There is um, some mods you can put on for them. Um, for this, for me, I do not run on any of those mods, but this is great um, to just, you know, buff it, you know, just in case. If you're still, it's, it's a group heal, so it helps you all. So that's, that's where we're going to go ahead and end with that one there. Now we're going to go ahead and take a look at some of the gear that you're going to need to be running, some of the attributes. Let's go ahead and take a look. All right, guys, last but not least, we're going to be looking at the gear and what you're going to want to be running for this exact loadout. Uh, the attributes you're going to want to use, some of the mods that you could use for it that are just great DPS. Well, let's go ahead and get into it. We're going to start with the assault rifle here. It's going to be your weapon of choice. This assault rifle is going to need to be a tactical assault rifle. You can change the variant if you have another one. Um, I was lucky enough to get this one from the vendor, Bailey um for uh scrap um it doesn't have the exact attributes i want on it nor the mods but this gun absolutely shreds as you can see in the brood mother's you know brutality before it was just laying things out you know just absolutely shredding uh but we're gonna take a look right here um what you kind of are looking for is crit damage close range damage long range damage those three are really what you're gonna want on most if not all of your gear and your weapon um as for the mods i love brain eater as you can see here reason why is because i challenged your 15 some of the enemies can kind of be bullet sponges so every time you hit a critical shot you don't lose that ammo at all and when you're using those blighted rounds and you're hitting those critical shots you're not losing any of that ammo and it's just amazing that's why i like that but there is another mod that you can use um, there's actually two other mods that you can use, uh, but the one we're going to be looking at here that I do have is called, um, right here, it's called Anomaly Enhancement, and you receive a passive firepower boost equal to 30% of your Anomaly power. This is also a very, very good one. Um, I would like using that one. I switch them both out. It really, really depends on what I'm doing, um, but that's a great one. Another one is Killing Spree. Killing Spree is just OP. Unfortunately, I do not have it yet. That is a tier three mod that I do not have yet. I'm grinding, I'm grinding. I got all level 50 gear, we're in end game now, but I'm grinding. But this loadout will get you there. This loadout will get you where you need to be in this game. All right, so let's go ahead and move on. We're gonna start with the head here. Now, what it seems like is that the names of the gear don't really seem to matter as much as that the attributes um, can roll randomly, it seems. Um, so from here, I have this mask I'm running. I managed to get a really good one out of it because I got bonus, close, and long range on it. And I have it all maxed out. Um, the mod that I'm running is Bloodlust. Killing shots increase your firepower by 1700. Stacks up to three times and deteriorates every 10 seconds. That's a great one. That's one that I put on there. Unfortunately, what came on it was crit stack. But even then, that crit stack is just, just great. It really does pair well with the loadout uh, for the anomaly power and the firepower and the crit shots that you're going to be hitting. So for me, that really works well for me. Um, so that's what I like to use for the head. Now, like I said, the, you know, the name itself, I don't really think it matters. I'm not really sure. I don't really think it matters. I think it's just the stats that roll on it are random. So the next piece I'm going to be having right here is the chest. Um, once again, I got lucky. I got all three, the bonus, the close, and the long-range damage. Maxed them all out. Uh, I'm running Toxic Lead on this one. Um, I do love toxic like killing enemies affected with toxic will instantly replenish your ammo. That is another ammo buff. All right. That is the one that replenishes your ammo again. There's multiple ones in this loadout that will pretty much really make it hard for you to lose your blighted rounds. That's how good this is. Now, Ice Trap rolled on this. So, I, I unfortunately, I wasn't able to change it up, but hopefully in the future I will be. Um, even that, it actually really does help uh, because whenever my health drops in those, you know, the uh, 
um, alphas come at you swinging. When they drop your health, they freeze. So it really does help with the defensive purpose, especially if you're running by yourself. All right. Once again, we're going to move on here, and we got to go ahead and look at the legs. Now, the legs aren't what I fully want yet, um, but it's coming along. Uh, I got the bonus, and I got the long-range damage on it. I don't have the close-range damage on it yet, but uh, I got skill life leads all maxed out, um, and the mods. So, right here, we're running Spare Mag, all right? This is for blading rounds, all right? This skill is effective for one additional magazine before triggering the cooldown. So that means you actually get two full magazines of blighted rounds every time you activate that skill. All right, so it really does you get two full rounds. So if you mess up, you know, uh, replenishing your ammo using the other mods, you do get another whole mag of it. Um, the other one that I that I just got, I'm super psyched on this mod, is Captain Hunter. This is a tier 3 mod. All right, this is increases your damage against elites by 25%. This is huge. Um, it really does play a huge difference. Um, I was just, you know, farming challenge tier 15s, and this was just absolutely, you can feel the difference in it. I love this mod. I highly suggest you go far for it because it really does make a difference all right so let's move on here we're going to be looking at the hands now so once again i was lucky enough to get all three attributes that i'm looking for bonus close and long range damage all maxed out all right once again we're going to be looking at a blighted mod all right that has to do with ammo of course all right while this skill is active killing shot grants you 30 percent extra bullets so every time that you kill an enemy with the last bullet all right uh, every time you kill an enemy with that shot all right, it replenishes your ammo by 30 percent this makes it really hard to run out of rounds, uh, rounds especially blighter rounds this is just insane all right um those three ammo mods together the toxic lead the spare mag and the trick up the sleeve are huge huge in this build all right, the other mods you can kind of build around it, but those three I find that are very crucial. All right, um, the other mod that I have running on here is Personal Space. This grants you a 50% bonus to close range weapon damage. Um, for me, I always feel that I'm just right up in there. You know, I feel like I'm usually more closer than I am further away, uh, especially with this build. You kind of just feel invincible, so you're just running in, you know, just running over everything. You're just going to have a blast, just an absolute blast. You're going to be pumping out over 200 mil in challenge tier 15, just running through everything. It's amazing. All right, so let's go ahead and look at the boots here. Once again, I, this is one that I haven't yet got the right boots that I want. Um, I did get bonus firepower and close range damage on it. Um, along with healing receives, which isn't too bad, but I got them all maxed out. Um, and the mods that I'm running on it are actually Radical Therapy. These aren't the exact mods that I would like to run, but it is what I have available, and these actually works very well for the loadout that we're using. All right, so um, Radical Therapy is you deal 15% more damage against enemies afflicted by Toxic. All right, Blighted Rounds, Toxic, uh, Blighted Deterrent. Right? It's all Toxic, all right, so... You, you're dealing pretty much immediately 50% damage, more damage, right off the rip. Because every time you shoot, you're inflicting toxic. Alright, and then I'm going to be using Toxic Piercer. Alright, the effective, this is what came on it, so unfortunately I didn't get to change this one. Uh, but it, it pretty much increases the effective, uh, effective of Toxic by 20% bonus equal to 100% of your armor piercing. So you do get a bunch of armor piercing through the tree. Um, so that does actually play an actual good part because it increases the toxic. Toxic's more powerful, so it kills the enemy. And by doing that, toxic lead kicks in and replenishes your ammo. It's it's all big chain, you know, it pretty much replenishing your ammo, dealing that constant damage the entire time. All right, you're pretty much just, you're going to feel invincible using this build. Absolutely invincible. A bunch of us, we've been pretty much farming challenge tier 15s with this build. Uh, we've had two of us running this. We've had another tricks. They're pretty much just bubbling things and us just completely shredding through it. If you don't believe me, 
go ahead and check out this this footage from these challenge tiers. I'll go ahead and leave one here. Thank you all so much for coming by. I will be back again with more tips, tricks, loadouts, and more. I love this game. It has so much to offer. Um, I really do absolutely love it. Besides from all the connection issues, we all know there's, there's just too many connection issues in this game. Crossplay is currently not working, which is a huge bummer. Um, but hopefully they'll get it all fixed up and, you know, we'll be able to continue on with this journey of Outriders because this game is really awesome. It's what I've been missing, you know, especially since Division and, you know, that whole debacle. Um, this, I love looter shooters and this for me, this plays perfect part. I appreciate you guys for coming by. Please go ahead and hit that sub button, hit that like button. I'll be back again with more Outriders content. I'll see you again soon. Enjoy.